six years ago, Pat Dugan, a former Marine, police officer, and Vietnam vet, was facing one of the hardest times in his life. I went from a speed of 100 miles an hour to zero miles an hour when I retired. I wasn't ready for it to end, you know? I wanted to keep going. To make matters worse, Pat had recently lost his beloved dog, Lucky. I know this sounds ridiculous, but I was, I didn't want to love no more. When I buried him, yeah, I was about ready to go on the ground with him. Even without his friend Lucky, Pat still took a daily walk in the park. When he least expected it, his life changed. I saw this white speck come out of the fog, and I was wondering, what is that? And so as we got closer, I realized it was a Jack Russell Terrier. I almost felt the spark when I touched him. And that was it. It was love at first sight. Come on. Pat kept in touch with his local animal shelter, but no one ever did claim this dog, now called J.R. I said, why did you call him J.R.? And he said, because he's a Jack Russell Terrier. There was something mystical about J.R.'s appearance in Pat's life, and on Veterans Day, J.R. had something to show him. We were walking at the cemetery, and he wanted more leash. J.R. just kept pulling. We let him have a lead, and J.R. went over, and he started scratching at a gravestone that was almost obscured by debris. So he started digging and, and uh, uncovering the grave. And the name on the grave? Corporal Jack Russell. It was amazing that J.R. should uncover a grave marker of a veteran on Veterans Day with the same name as his family line, Jack Russell. Pat readily admits that J.R. has had a profound effect on his life. He taught me it was okay to love openly. And he taught me it was okay to love something enough that you yeah. could cry. He has to be a heavenly gift. He couldn't have come nowhere else. Come on, Pat.